so far as security, Imran Khan reports. It's been described as one of the most complex relationships in the world. But when US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton appeared with her counterpart, Pakistani Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, both were keen to show close working relationships, and Monday was all about showcasing progress between the two countries. I was pleased to announce a series of significant programs that the United States will be undertaking in several key areas, including water, energy, health, agriculture, and economic growth and employment. All of these programs were made possible by the Kerry Uger Berman Act, which tripled our non-military aid to Pakistan to seven and a half billion dollars over five years. We had set for ourselves a huge agenda because we had expanded the, uh, the dialogue to 13 sectors, unprecedented. The secretary even had time for a quip when announcing an export deal. And right there in the middle is the new agreement for the export of mangoes. And I have personally vouched for Pakistani mangoes, which are delicious. So the wide-ranging relationship includes business deals as well as energy, water, education. The message seemingly the livelihoods and security of Pakistanis are not just Pakistan's strategic importance, is at the core of U.S. interests. We shared the anguish and the terrible uh, despair that struck so many Pakistanis uh, in the aftermath of the attack on the Dada Darbar shrine. Despite that sympathy for Pakistan's security, the relationship has plenty of other issues not addressed at this meeting, at least not publicly. The U.S. wants Pakistan to do more in battling armed groups in the Northwest. The army says it needs the U.S. to put pressure on India to withdraw troops from its eastern border in order to do that. Drone strikes are another sticking point. Publicly, the Pakistanis condemn them, but many analysts say that the intelligence used for targeting is Pakistani. 